guys, my name's Dan. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have something very exciting. This is the LTT Ratcheting Screwdriver and it is absolutely incredible. Let's get started. The first question I want to answer is one that I was asked a lot. Why would anyone buy a $100 screwdriver? Well, for most people, they wouldn't. The truth is, if you don't think that a $100 screwdriver is worth it, then you're the group that it's probably not worth it for. This screwdriver is designed for people who want a durable, reliable, and efficient tool. If you work with screws pretty much every day like I do, then this is absolutely a screwdriver that should be considered. But if you just want a screwdriver to just kick around the house, then go down to Bunnings and spend five bucks on a much worse, but much cheaper screwdriver that will last you years. If you do work with screws often and you just go out and buy cheap screwdrivers, here's a thought for you. Buying the same cheap screwdriver every few months for the same amount of time that it takes to break the LCT screwdriver will come out about the same, if not more expensive. But which one is nicer to use? Most likely, it's going to be the more expensive driver. I'm a strong believer in buying the good tool once, as it makes life so, so, so much easier. It really does suck having to keep going out to the store to buy new tools. With that out of the way, let's dive into the unboxing experience. The screwdriver comes in an unassuming black box with a gloss black silk screen on it. It shows you the screwdriver itself and the standard bit loadout. Moving around to the back, you get a blurb with a message and a signature from Linus himself. And on the front, you get another black LTT logo. Opening it up, we have a nice vibrant orange interior with a black piece of cardstock which has a link to buy more bits on the back. Underneath, we have the driver itself beside a box that contains all the standard bits included with the driver. The 12 bits have a black oxide coating and their sizes are shown here. The screwdriver itself has a nice heft to it and it looks absolutely amazing. I chose a black and orange one. Even with my tiny hands, it still feels amazing to hold thanks to the trilobe design. It has a soft touch finish thanks to the triax plastic used for the handle and the shaft is made out of stainless steel and feels really, really good. At first, I was really disappointed that they weren't going to be shipping it with the black shaft, but I actually think this looks slightly better. The knurling is fairly aggressive, meaning it won't slip when tightening the screws. The selector ring for the ratchet is nice and tactile and is easy to turn with one hand. LCT have actually reversed the ratchet mechanism so that turning the ring right means you screw in and vice versa. This is really helpful and not that common as Snap-on is the only other company I know that does this. Moving our way down to the bottom brings us to one of the main attractions, the bit holder. This screwdriver was designed in collaboration with Megapro iterating on their already legendary ratchet and bit holder mechanism. Speaking of, their patented bit holder is the best in the industry. It is so satisfying and convenient and it's a really, really good fidget toy. The opening and closing actions feel magnetic, but they're actually fully mechanical. And I'll show a picture of the pattern here. And to anyone wondering about the longevity of the mechanism itself being a mechanical device, the mechanism itself has been in use by Mega Pro since 1994. And apparently they've had very few returns on it. The cartridge holds 12, 20 mil millimeter short bits mean that if you want to use standard 25 millimeter bits you'll have to turn what LTT calls the ninja star which allows the use of longer bits but it will cut down the capacity to store in the handle down to six. The ratchet mechanism is smooth and has an incredibly light back force taking only nine grams to activate meaning loose screws can be started with the ratchet as well and the ratcheting action itself is very satisfying and it's extremely efficient. The magnet in the shaft is the strongest they could fit in and I can say from experience it is really really strong. The driver also comes with a magnetic bit which is strong enough to hold the driver itself. The magnets have come in handy a few times already and it also mean that bits getting pulled out of the shaft will be a very rare occurrence. As an ADHD fidgeter I can wholeheartedly say this screwdriver is extremely satisfying to fidget with and I've barely put it down since I got it. And since this is a review I do have to point out some of the things I don't like about it. I find that the end cap logo, bit holder grips and the selector ring get clogged with dirt very quickly especially if it's being pulled off of my greasy hands and I find it hard to clean that out. The sprue on the end cap where it came out of the mould is very noticeable. I'm not sure if they could have hidden it under the mechanism. And the bits in the shaft seem to have some wiggle, which hasn't been an issue, but it wasn't confidence inspiring for the first little while. As you may have noticed, those aren't complaints, they're nitpicks. That's how good this screwdriver is. Those are the only issues I've had with it. It's even shrugged off a drop onto concrete. This thing is absolutely incredible. And to end the video, I thought I'd make a test rig for the screwdriver. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.